James C. Block's dialogue box was a Roblox dialogue template made by, well, James C. Block. Uh, this person randomly disappeared off the internet a while back. Uh, their YouTube is still up, but their Twitter is gone, and the tutorial for this, this dialogue template is gone as well. It was mainly used by people in the Weirdcore community, and it's a pretty big shame that this was completely wiped off the internet because it was a pretty useful tool, at least to me, back then. So I thought that I could, you know, spruce it up a bit, add some new features, and send it back out there for game creators to use. Here is a tutorial on James Sleepwalk's dialog box upgraded. Before we get started, you're going to need a full body drawing of your character or a 3D model of your character. If you're doing a drawing, there is a character template that comes with the file, but you're going to have to flip your drawing first before importing it because for some reason Roblox flips beams. I don't know why, don't ask me. Um, then you're going to need a talking sprite of your character and a closed mouth sprite of your character. Then a a pixel voice if you don't know what a pixel voice is uh if you ever play undertale you know how the, the characters go like ur, ur, ur. that's what a, that's what a pixel voice is and this part isn't required but i heavily recommend it um some custom dialogue box art and stuff like that what you want to gonna want to do is open your open the gui then move sample to workspace uh, I delete that just to save space and then move these events into replicated storage. Uh, testing it out, you can see here's the here's the, the dialog box. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's the dialog box. And obviously we're not gonna wanna keep this sample character. We're gonna wanna make a new character. So what I would do is take that, duplicate that. And if you're doing a 3D model, I would take out the sample dialogue thing because it does have a script in it. You'll need to get the dialogue to work um, and put it over your model. But we're going to go to this beam and make sure that your game is saved to Roblox so you can use the asset manager and import your character. I've already imported um, the full body file, so I don't need to do that. But you do that and then go to this sample dialog rename it to your character dialog and move it over the face and go into assets duplicate that rename it to your character's name go here import the sound the pixel voice Make sure it sounds alright. Oh. Then import your talking sprite. And your closed mouth sprite. Alright, now we've got importing the character out of the way. Now we're gonna wanna work on the dialogue. So let's rename this to whatever you named your dialogue box. So for me, it's Simon Dialogue. Then do this, go to type, name that to your character, the same, same name that you put in this assets folder. If you don't, it won't work. So Simon, then the dialogue will be like, hi. For the different choices, we can just put like, how are you? Where am I? Stuff like that. Um, and then under under the choice, you put what your character says. So I'm good. How are you? Take these choices, put them under that, and be like, I had a bad day today, or I'm good. Thank you. Just stuff like that. Just, you know, this is very, very bare bones. I would recommend you do something more creative, but no. That's basically all you got. It's that simple. So we're gonna go in there. Go talk to him. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh, oh. 
So now you got your character with full working oh. Oh. with a full oh. working dialogue oh. box. And that's about it. Um if you want to edit the dialogue box to change it, you go to your you go to dialogue box, go to visible, turn that on. Then you edit the you change the speech bubble to your image and then you can change the font and stuff. So I'll change it to like an like It says that I'm a US I can't boy. Read that. Um <laughs> and then let's make it let's make it pink. And boom, it's 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 pink now. And then I turn it back to invisible. And then I go into the game. And as you can see, his dialogue is now pink. Um now let's get into more complex stuff. What if I wanted, you know, maybe a shop UI to open after the character is done talking, or what if I wanted it to play a sound effect whenever the character starts speaking? Well, when I open the dialogue script and initiate interaction uh, local scripts and find uh, the functions called check text inside them, in dialogue script, check text will have it have something happen whenever the text opens. So if text is equal to I farted, then the script dot farts out of that place. And if you want something to happen whenever the GUI is cl closing, um, you could do if text is equal to want to take a look at what I have for sale? Awesome sauce. Then, you know, fire, fire, open shop GUI. Um, if you want to do something more complex than you know, just playing a sound or changing the text to be something else. Um, like you're gonna want to use remote events and stuff. Uh, I'll link some tutorials to that in the description. I'm not gonna want to go over it in this video, but if you already know how to code and you already know that, well, there you go. Anyways, I hope that this helps a lot of people out there. It's a big shame that James Lee Block took their uh, tutorial down. So I thought I could post this video as a way to revive it and also, you know, give a little push to weird core game makers out there because this is mainly what it's used for. Anyway, sillers, I'll see y'all in hell and bye-bye!